We're finally in a place where we can take care of the rest of these decals on our RV. The last of the stripes are coming off now. Let's go down that road. As we mentioned in another video, we had taken off all the swooshes and, and, and the bigger decals and, and gold and burgundy stripes probably a few years ago already. But now we left the blue ones because ah, they were okay, but they're getting crumbly now. This one here is getting all chipped up and we just want to make it look as good as we can. Um, these are getting crumbly. So we're going to get these off, clean it up. <clears throat> and polish it up so it doesn't look like a 23 year old RV anymore <laughs> it's a painstaking process especially on aluminum we found that it came off much easier off the fiberglass door and the fiberglass bay doors but this is aluminum this is all we've gotten done in about 15 minutes time Good gracious and that's not removing the glue like it did in the past this is the tool we used changing to a different one when we removed the other ones we used plastic scrapers like these so we're gonna try I'm gonna try the yellow one I think these are just so baked on that <laughs> they're really hard to get off Whoa, it's always so exciting when you can get a whole strip. Keep it going, keep it going, keep it going. It's warm. <laughs> I know. <laughs> oh, that's the biggest one we've had so far. I don't want to wreck it, but... Cool. <laughs> what a cool so one. then Gary took some Goo Gone and cleaned off the, the glue there. That wiped off pretty good. This he hasn't touched yet, obviously. We'll heat that up again and see if we can get more off. It'd be great if it would come off with the glue like it used to on these other stripes we took off. But that's not happening this time. <laughs> this tool is definitely working better though than the first one we used. It has been maybe half an hour now or more, maybe 45 minutes. I think it's been about 45 minutes since we started. While Gary was doing this, I was looking up to see if there was anything else we could use. And there was one product on there. If you have a fiberglass siding, you can get something called Graph-X Off. Graphics Off. But it looks like graph with an X and the word off. And they said it works really, really well. You scrape off the decals, no heat, nothing, and, and you just brush it on with a paintbrush and then about half an hour later you take it off or 15, 20 minutes, whatever. Unfortunately, the disclaimer was not to use it on metal. And this is aluminum. So it's everything else said the best way is the heat. The other thing you can do with fiberglass is the they have the buffer uh, sanding tools that they can that they take them off with but again that's on fiberglass aluminum's a little trickier mm. four hours later <laughs> oof the cheapers all right we had to make a change of plans this stripe is staying on for now because all the way around it's a good looking stripe it doesn't have any chips or anything in it so we're gonna leave that but we're getting these two top ones off the top one is off all the way to the door but we still have to do from the door to the end with both of them ay, ay, ay. um yeah so four hours Gary was doing the heat gun for a while, and then I would do the, yeah, <laughs> and then I would do the goo gun on the glue. Now I got more glue I gotta wipe off here. Uh, sticky, sticky, sticky. That takes a while, so I, I'll, I'll work on that. 
and then we would trade off and he would do the glue the goo gun and I would do the glue gun. Heat gun. Heat gun. Yeah. Heat gun. You don't need any more glue. <laughs> no. <laughs> I have glue on my brain. <laughs> all right, so yeah, the idea was gonna get all the blue off and paint these black. Um but that's not gonna happen now unless we have time yet before the end of the summer before we have to leave. But right now we're just gonna leave that one solitary blue light blue blue stripe there. That way people will know we did something. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So if we can get the this side done and maybe tomorrow tackle this, I think these are gonna come off easier because they're already chipping off. So I think the back is gonna come off a little easier and it's a lot shorter. And again, we're gonna leave this bottom one on and then we'll have the whole other side to do. And it's a little shorter because we don't have, the, we have more bay door. So this side, for whatever reason, I think is a little shorter. Maybe it's just an optical illusion. The other thing we wanna do is replace or paint these. If we can paint them good enough so that they look white again, Right now they look pretty grungy and gray and uh, clean up the caulking around them. Uh, we want to get those done as well. Yeah. We'll have most of the bad stuff off and cleaned up and looking better so that we might have a little better chance of getting into some more RV parks with that stupid 10 year rule. Hopefully it will not be a big issue this winter. It doesn't sound like we're gonna be in an RV park this year though. Sounds like we might be on uh, private property, so that would be a good thing. But it's the coming and going that might be a problem. Alrighty, back to it. Day two. Some of the sticky stuff is still on here. Gotta get wet that wiped down a little better. This is all, only got from about here, from about here to here on this. <sighs> but this all has to come off yet. And the sticky, and still over there on the other side. But we decided to take a break, as long as this is in the shade. And we started working on the back side because this is only gonna be in the shade for a short time. I can't say it's going any faster, but the fact that we can share the heat gun and we can be going back and forth more, uh, that seems to be going a little faster that way. Uh, a little disappointed this isn't all coming off. Uh, might have to do something different on that. But um, we are, like again, we're keeping the, dark, the bottom one. This is where the burgundy one was, a little trace of that. And then the gold was, I think, below that. We found these uh, in the toolkit. They were what we used to take off the other other stripes Yeah. a couple years ago. And the only thing I don't like about them is I can't get the grip on them like he can. So I still like this one better. We don't know where we got any of these, probably Walmart or Menards or Home Depot, any of any one of them. This is actually for using for caulking too. You can you put the caulk down and then you and then you go like this to smooth it down. That's but yeah. it's working well this way too. Okay, back to it. We're losing shade. Gary's method is to keep the heat on it as he's doing the, the, the scraping. Mine is to heat it, heat it, heat it, heat it, and then scrape it. Because my fingers are obviously more sensitive than his. It's really hot. This is a fish. <laughs> All right, almost there. This one, and then that little bit of, on the top and then I just I got all this cleaned up yet I gotta finish that 
We lost track of how many hours we put into this so far. Let's not even bother counting anymore. Because we have this whole side to do yet, too. <laughs> oh, gosh. Alrighty. Here's a little close-up of some of the stuff that's left. Um, some of this is dirt that must have gone down. Okay, anyway, we're hoping that some of this will come off. Uh, we can't use sandpaper. We can't use anything like that because it might take the paint off. We don't want to have that happen. So we got to be really careful with it. We can't use mineral spirits for the same reason. So we're just going to see what happens when she gets a bath. Might take at least some of the dirt stuff off. Uh, the paint might come too, hopefully. Hopefully. I came in to make supper. Gary is washing everything down now with soapy water and we'll rinse it. That's what you're supposed to do when you have the when you use the goo gun. And maybe that'll take off some of the excess and it needed a cleaning anyway. This side is done. Like I said, we had to keep this here because we don't have time to get that one off and that one looks pretty good right now. Maybe eventually we'll get that one off too, but it's pretty subtle compared to the rest. So now you gotta get all the goo gone and all the other stuff off. And that's what Gary is doing right now, scrubbing it off with a product called Wax and Sh Wash and Wax from Camco. There it is right there. We get that at Walmart? We do. Okay, back is done. We're gonna get a new wheel cover. This is the last of the sticky gooey. Wow. <laughs> How many days? I don't even remember. A few places that we got a little too close and it got down to the down to the silver instead of the white. But that can be touched up easy enough. Just a little dab of paint, white paint along there if we need to. Right? Sure. Yeah. Alrighty, so everything's off except that line. Oh, I gotta go over here in the, oh, the sun. Except for that line up above there. We're gonna leave that too for now. <laughs> and we got the parts for this yesterday, but we could not find parts for this. These we're gonna try and just find some flat disc like things to go over those because those are frisbees. both outdated frisbees yeah we'll get some miniature frisbees and then this uh yeah that we didn't find anything for that either so we're gonna have to maybe just paint some of them we can make flowers we can make some flowers on there right we there you go sure <laughs> why not that'll go with the uh shutters for yep. sure okay <laughs> The last little bit off, done, yay! Ah, now you gotta wash it. Yep. Get all that gunky stuff off. Get the goo gone off. I'll do that. You can. I'll do that. You can uh, cut mom's hair. Oh. <laughs> Make supper. Supper. Food. We also got the new tire cover. I did find one online.
that isn't priced real bad. I think it's like $17 that I could put our logo on that. And that is a thought, but for now we just needed to replace it. And this is all they had was the white. So we went with that for now.